going on YouTube, Jason right here. In today's video, we have an update for those of you on iOS 15.5 all the way up to iOS 16.5 if you want to jailbreak on the newer devices like iPhone 14, 13, 12 and stuff like that, not the check ring stuff, the newer stuff. We're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIMLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know, two kernel exploits were released for these devices on iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5 and of course iOS 16.6 and iOS 16.5.1, these over here that are currently signed, do patch the vulnerability. However, iOS 16.6 beta 1, which happens to be signed at the moment, doesn't. So you can use the vulnerability if you upgrade or downgrade to iOS 16.6 beta 1. I do have a full article about how to do that and where to find the IPSW to do that here on iDeviceCentral.com, so definitely check that out. But the exploit itself is part of the KFD or Kernel File Descriptor project and unfortunately this one is not compiled. But if you want to compile version of this project I did make an IPA file for those of you who want to test it on your device and see what it is and how it works and stuff like that there is now an IPA file provided by my website over here on iDeviceCentral.com the link will be below the project itself is actually quite interesting if you open it it's this one over here and you can actually open this in Xcode and you can see exactly in here everything that is part of the project including the offsets now these may not be correct in the IPA file because these are hard-coded for example for iPhone 14 Pro Max so the Depending on the circumstance, you may need to change this if you're planning to work on a jailbreak or if you're planning to create your own tool like Kawabanga and stuff like that based on this. But with this exploit, we might be able to see Kawabanga, the Mac Dirty Cow version, the one that was pretty powerful, we might be able to see it updated before a jailbreak drops. But we can even create a jailbreak with this. This is quite powerful. It's a ridiculously powerful exploit and it was released out of the blue. So as I said, if you want to check out this exploit, if you want to check out the project, the KFD compiled, I made it available in IP IPA format for those of you who need it over here. Now I did not carry any other modifications to the project, I did not add any offsets or modify any of the code, I just compiled it into IPA, so depending on your device it may or may not work. Now of course when you use it, it looks like this, once you sideload it with your favorite tool, the application looks like this. This is a testing application that the developer released, you can select in here the uh, PUF pages, you can select the method or the exploit, because this one contains two exploits, which is the Fizz Puppet and the Smith, this one is probably the one you want, the Smith. And then you have in here the kernel read method, which is this one over here, and of course the kernel write method, there are two over here as well. And you press K open, but you would probably have to monitor it in a console, macOS comes with a console, but if you don't have macOS, there is one for Windows as well, part of libimobile device, and you can see what's going on with the device. But yeah, this is mostly a release for those of you who want to mess with the exploit and see what you can build with it and how it works and whatever, but you don't necessarily have a macOS computer to compile it. What I have released in here is not a full jailbreak, it's just the IP file of the KFD project because the original project in here does not have any releases, doesn't have an IPA file. So that's basically it, but if you need it, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now, peace out.